Thank you, Grant. What a great event. Great, great event. Thanks to uh, our sponsors and obviously our hosts and Josh and Mark and, and Grant, of course. Thanks for having us here today. Um, Viviv, as you know, uh, is a women's health company uh, pioneering a clinically proven uh, and proprietary platform technology uh, it, for women's intimate health indications. It was how we were founded. Uh, we've been dedicated to that. It's not been an easy road, but I think importantly, we are on the precipice of changing the scope of women's intimate health indications over the next year. Um, historically, we've had a track record of commercial and importantly, clinical success, uh, even without the ability to market to our healthcare providers and customers and even to market to consumers. Without that ability, we've been able to grow our install base to nearly a thousand systems globally, about half of those in the United States, uh, and have sold over 35,000 treatment tips. So this speaks to you know, the high prevalence of these conditions and, and the willingness for women to seek solutions to these major medical needs and quality of life issues. Uh, today, we operate in over 60 countries through both a direct and a distribution network. Uh, and I'll shift a minute to the clinical trials. So we've produced five positive clinical trials uh, in both sexual function and stress urinary incontinence. We ran the largest ever randomized, double-blind, sham-controlled trial in this entire space uh, with positive outcomes now published in two peer-reviewed journal articles. That led us to our three major registration trials at the bottom of the slide here, and I'll talk more about them. Uh, our U.S. sexual function trial, which will read out in April of next year. Uh, our international stress urinary incontinence trial, which will read out uh, in 60 days, uh, and our ongoing discussions with FDA to get our IDA approved for a U.S. stress urinary incontinence trial. Both of those we refer to as Liberate International and Liberate U.S. Importantly, and I talked about this on the panel, our system was designed and has evolved to treat functionally these uh, medical indications. Uh, we're pleased to report that earlier this year, in 2019, we launched the second generation of our system, uh, which you can see here on the right. Ours is a proven solution for women's intimate health conditions. Uh, our CRMRF technology, cryogen-cooled monopolar radio frequency, is distinct from any other energy-based platform out there in women's intimate health. Uh, it allows depth of tissue penetration, which is important not only for patient comfort and safety, but also to efficacy. We do this in a single treatment. We have consistent patient outcomes and durable results uh, to 12 months and beyond. We're going after two enormous unmet medical needs for women. Sexual function on the left, by all math, and we've cut this a variety of ways, five million women, and these are premenopausal women, could be candidates for our sexual function procedure today. So total available market, five million women in the United States. It's about double the size when you include international, leading to a consumable market that could be two to four billion dollars globally. On the other side, stress urinary incontinence, one in three women postpartum are walking around with symptoms of urinary incontinence. Prevalence is nearly 10 million women in the United States. It's double that globally, and on a cash pay basis, could be a market as, as large as $12 billion. This is consumable. And Viviv has taken steps over the last 12 months to start the process towards reimbursement. I know that's blasphemy in this room, uh, but we've been working on this for a year and are confident that from a stress urinary incontinence procedure perspective, we will get, be able to get the payers to pay for this and reimburse it. And that makes this market from a consumable perspective astronomical. So the three trials I mentioned, Viviv 2 is our flagship sexual function trial reading out next year in April of 2020. Uh, Liberate International in the U.S. are our, our SUI programs. Liberate International will read out in July. Uh, and we expect to begin enrollment in the U.S. trial in stress urinary incontinence in the third quarter and hope to have that data next year. 
I'll, I'll skip through these quickly. You know, the Viv 2 is fully enrolled. I've hit the timelines. I think important with respect to uh, our registration trials is we've made data-driven decisions. All of these trials we didn't go into blindly. They are predicated by stepwise, smaller studies to lead us there. They are overpowered, and we're highly confident they're going to be successful and lead to regulatory clearance. This is the Liberate International trial that's fully enrolled that I mentioned, powered to detect a 20% difference. These are double-blind, randomized, sham-controlled trials uh, that if positive, this trial, reading out in 60 days, could lead us to a stress urinary incontinence claim in over 35 countries internationally. I mentioned Liberate United States. I'll skip this, but importantly for us, after five years, long years of uh, you know very uh, difficult work, difficult with the agency, um, five of our eight major clinical and regulatory milestones are now coming within the next 12 months. So it's a really important time for us as a company, uh, as we think we are on the precipice of being able to change how women's intimate health procedures are delivered, who provides them, and finally being able to start to market to consumers. I'll just finish with, we believe we're leading women's intimate health. Uh, we have a track record of commercial success. We have the only IP protected platform for radio frequency in women's intimate health indications. We have undoubtedly the most robust clinical evidence in the industry on the precipice of opening up multi-billion dollar consumable markets in this area through near-term clinical readouts and regulatory uh, clearances. So uh, with that, I, I hope we're back here next year at AIS talking about the first FDA approval for sexual function. And uh, thank you everyone for listening.